Hey guys, welcome back to Flying in Space with Planet Head. Uh, this will probably be a short video tonight because I am going to need to get some sleep for work. But, you know me, I always like to point out when I'm stupid. So I've got two hints. The first one, something combining the video that I had yesterday. Boy, my eyes do look tired. Um, and then the second one being the hint that I was trying to get to, but... I screwed up because I was tired and just flew around for like an hour frustrated because of something stupid that I had done. And then I can show you that little hint that might be helpful to you that is a little trick. And then after that, I'll try to do this relic site. So um, the, the first hint of my stupidity is if you watched my video yesterday about filters. Um, so I booted up today it's flying from system to system, mostly traveling in high sec, a little bit in faction warfare space, trying to find a site where I could scan down a cosmic anomaly and then show you the trick that I wanted to do for the second hint. Unfortunately, each system that I went to did not have any cosmic anomalies. I swear to God, I went through 20, 25 different systems looking for a co any cosmic anomaly and none of them popped up. If you watched my video yesterday, it was all about filters, and this is my stupidity. I hadn't turned off the filters. So up here in the filter area, I had picked um, anomalies, in but I did not have cosmic signatures. I had drones on it, assuming that it would show the um, anomalies that were there. It doesn't do that. So let me just show you here, if I turn that off, and I had drones on here. So every system I was flying through and checking out to see if there was any anomaly here did not have it. It was looking for cosmic signatures. So um, I literally spent probably the last hour frustrated thinking, wait, did they turn off anomalies in high sec, or are there no anomalies in faction warfare space? And then finally it dawned on me, I looked over and I saw three filtered. I'm like, what is going on? Oh my gosh. I... So my hint, my first hint of the two is uh, don't, don't play tired. Or at least don't try to do anything dumb. Or at least reset yourself each day. <laughs> Maybe have a checklist, especially if you're going to use filters. I swear by the filters are very helpful, but I haven't gotten used to using them. Forgot about it and wasted a ton of time that I could have been having fun today. So that's hint number one. Um, just uh, if you use filters, make sure you reset yourself. Number two is a trick that I found found out on my own. I did not watch a video. This is one of the few tricks I've found that I can do on my own. Um, it may be out there, but uh, so if you have a cloak on your ship. Um, now, normally, if I were to fly, choose this relic site that I just scanned down. Um, and fly to it, it would pop up with the box that tells me the type of relic site. Um, it is, it could be, or if it was a combat site, it might pop up with the level of the, the um, combat site. But I'm already in warp toward it, so I might be getting myself into some trouble. Now, that isn't huge for relic sites, but maybe data sites, if they were sleepers or something like that, or something I wasn't paying attention to, like a covert site, like I did a video about a couple days ago. Um... A quick way, but I think this really works with combat sites, a quick way to nullify that, and it's just a little trick, but if you actually turn your cloak on, okay, and then go to warp to it, it won't allow you to warp to it. It'll say, no, your cloak is on, you can't do nothing. So warp to zero, but, see right up here, it says you cannot warp while you're cloaked, but it still pops up with the information of the um, signature. The anomaly. <laughs> so you can read this real quick to see if it's something you want to jump into. Now, like I said, a relic site might not be that big of a deal, but a um, data site that might be a sleeper that you weren't paying attention to, or a covert site, something that might want to kill you, or a combat site that you're warping directly into, um, this is something that you might be able to check out before you go. And then all you really have to do is turn your cloak off and warp to it anyway. And it pops right back up again. So that's my little hint. I don't know how much anybody could use it. Um, but if you 
maybe it's helpful to you. I'm going to go check out this um, uh, anomaly here. Now, the other thing being, um, if you notice here, I don't have my relic analyzers or data analyzers because I'm using a expanded probe launcher that's taking so much of my power. Now, one thing I can do is turn something offline, like my cloak or my expanded probe launcher. Um, so let's just make sure my probes are in. Mm, come on in, buddy. There we go. And then I can turn this off and put it offline. Yep, it's going offline. I still have enough power. I'm at 100%. You have to be at 100% to do this. And I know I need to do relic sites, but I want to actually check and see if they're worth anything first. So I'm going to actually put this one online first. Okay. Now this has to charge back up, but I can at least scan these guys down while it's charging up. I have a better way of doing this um, here in a second that I'm going to show you. It's what I showed on the video the other day of why I have stuff in my um, cargo. Um, but I just want to show you this as a comparison. So we're just going to scan that one and see if it's worthwhile. This is a high sex site, so I'm betting this isn't much here. Yeah, 26,000. I am not messing with this too much. Uh, 1.4? Okay, that's not too bad. We'll head toward that one. I don't mind 1.4. Plus, I'm in high sex, so I don't have to care too much about dying. Uh, maybe somebody will be dumb. Go ahead and get rid of that one. Oh, let's shut you off. And we'll check out some of these other boxes. Ten thousand, blah 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 blah. Seven hundred and seven. Okay, this is not stain. <laughs> I can tell you that much. So let's go ahead and get this rubble. So we got rubble and debris. So it looks like maybe the rubble is the one you go for and the debris, the rest of it sucks. Um, so the second part here is I have to wait till this gets to 95%. It's at 92%. And I can online my relic analyzer. Now, uh, there is a better way of doing this. Um, and I'll show you here in a second. Is that up to 95 96 so let's go ahead and online you you can dock up and you can switch things out let's have some fun uh, let's go ahead and minimize the video making machinery and the web page good 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 um and let's see what we got in this rubble 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 rubble, rubble. <laughs> Oh, those are fives. I don't need to go that way. If if I have a box in high sec blow up on me, I'm I'm just gonna quit exploring. There we go. There we go. You know, honestly, I don't even feel like checking out these other ones. That's 1.4 million esque. We're good. Okay, so. Um, the other one, and this may be elementary for some of you guys, but other ones, I have to be honest with you, for years, I never bothered with a mobile depot. And then I learned how nice they actually are. Um, if you are limited in your power grid or your CPU, you can carry along the items that you need and a mobile depot and switch things out now it can take a little bit but um, it's very very helpful for wormholes um, now I will suggest this only use it to switch things out when you're in wormholes or in null sec or high sec don't leave your mobile depot out because it is scannable down but just to show you what you have to do it's really really simple so as you see here um, I would have to wait Till my power got up to 95% for this one, 95% for this one, and 95% to switch out. And, and I couldn't actually turn this on because it's expanded. But if I launch the mobile depot, and tomorrow, um, I'll just go ahead and launch it. 
I think it takes 60 seconds for it to get up and running. There it is. It's at 52 seconds. I'm just going to circle it because I feel like it. If you were in high sec or null sec, what you would want to also do is just keep your D scan up and viewing. Now I'm in high sec, so I don't worry about. But if I'm in a wormhole space or in low sec or null sec, I just want to keep an eye out, especially in wormhole space where I can't keep an eye on local. Notice how she's almost up and running here. Now this may seem like a lot of time to you, but in reality, um, just being able to have this and switch out is really cool. Okay, there we go. So we're going to go ahead and if I right click on it, if I come down here to use fitting service, there we go. I'm going to pull up my inventory. There we go. That's all the stuff I've kind of scavenged today. Not a whole lot because I was stupid about the cosmic anomalies. Um, so here's a quick one. I can take off the ones that aren't powered up. I can take off my salvager. And I can take off my data analyzer. So those are all here. Um, and then if I put them back on. Whoop. Oh, hey, it's powered up. <laughs> So remember that 95% that I had to go all the way back around? I actually made up that time right there. Um, and then I can take, what was it? The, it was a salvager, wasn't it? Yeah, salvager. Bloop. Now remember this expanded cargo, uh, expanded probe launcher that I can't run because I don't have enough power to it? I can go ahead and turn that off. I might have been able to power these up, turn them on. Actually, that's something. I guess I could have just turned those online. I'm an idiot. Um, but I'm also carrying along, I have my expanded probe launcher, but I have my core probe launcher. So if I just want to spend my time scanning things, and scanning sites, I can switch this out and then I can close up my inventory, close that up, flip over here, scoop to my cargo hold, boom, and I'm done fly to another safe spot somewhere here if I was in a wormhole and I can go about my merry way. So it's kind of cool. Um, that's about it. I wish I had more for you today. I had actually planned on doing a little bit of scouting, but um, the, why is that not warping? I'm not cloaked, am I? No? Okay. Um, but the whole hour of me flying around, I'm a little bit frustrated tonight. But hopefully those two hints help you. Um, tomorrow, I will actually be trying to jump into a wormhole. I'm waiting for the weekend where I can maybe get a cheetah. Uh, one update that I did do was understanding that if I want to get a cheetah, I should probably have an improved cloaking device. So I did look at my skills and I threw in cloaking two and three, which ironically, if you watch my video from yesterday, use, um, I think, intelligence and willpower, the same stuff the electronics upgrades use. So those two implants that I put in yesterday, they're going to get the bonuses of that as well, as long as I don't die over the next couple of days. So I'm kind of hoping that over the next two days, this will get down to about two days. I might have some bonus skill points coming to me that I could throw at it. Maybe get it to the cheetah by the early to end of my weekend, uh, maybe t Monday or Tuesday, and do some flying around there and learning how to use it so I can then become your on-field reporter of the world. But next couple of days, I'll probably just be in wormholes having some fun, and I might take some videos and put some stuff in there as far as stuff there. But other than that, uh, fly safe, fly dangerously, fly higher than you want, and you guys have a great night, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.